An Englishman moves to a native village and is given a woman to sleep with who will help him learn the native's language. The two begin to fall in love and have to fight in order to stay together. Welcome back to Nonstop Recap. Today we'll be recapping the 2003 romantic drama The Sleeping Dictionary. The film takes place in 1936, and we see an innocent and naive English officer named John Truscott as he arrives in a Malaysian port. A native man named Belensai speaks English and helps escort John to the village where he's been expected. Once at the Eben village, he's introduced to Henry, the English governor of the village. John is brought to his new house and introduced to Famous, his new butler and cook. John is ready for a government job in the area and is going to be educated in the language and culture of the village as preparation. Henry tells him that he's been invited to the local longhouse, and we see John being driven there on a boat with Belensai. At the longhouse, John is greeted by all the Eben people and is offered traditional rice wine as a greeting. Throughout the course of the day, John drinks more and the villagers have celebrations with various dances and celebrations. During one of these dances, John catches the eye of Salima, a beautiful Eben woman, and is enchanted by her. Afterwards, John is given a necklace and is chosen to entertain the group. He is very hesitant, but eventually gets up and begins performing a drab poem. Everyone is incredibly bored, so John decides to grab Belensai and dance with him, which makes the crowd burst out with laughter. A man comes and whispers something in Belensai's ear, and suddenly the festivities come to a close with John being told he needs to go to sleep. John throws up outside from how much he's been drinking and ends up passing out drunk on the ground outside. The next day, John is embarrassed about how he acted, but Henry assures him that the Eben people like him because he made them laugh. John is annoyed at this and says he's there to help civilize them, not entertain them. John's mood and ego annoy Henry, and he tells him that a nearby mining company has been trespassing on Eben territory, and the Eben cut off the heads of some of their miners. Henry is ordering John to deal with the heads when the two are interrupted by Salima and the village chief. Henry tells John that Salima is going to be living with him as a sleeping dictionary. John is confused, and Henry explains that sleeping dictionaries are even women who sleep with Englishmen in order to teach them their language. John is disgusted and refuses because he believes that you should wait until marriage to sleep with someone. Henry insists that Salima chose to do this herself, and it would be rude of John to turn her down, but John is uncomfortable with the whole situation. Eventually, John says that Salima can live with him and teach him the language, but he won't sleep with her. Henry storms off in a huff, and Salima is upset with John for being difficult. John spends a few uncomfortable days with Salima in his house before the two go to the longhouse, so John can make good on his orders from Henry to collect the heads of the miners. Balansai gives John the bag with the heads, but Salima looks in the bag and sees that it's filled with monkey heads instead. Balansai tells Salima she picked a stupid man and she storms off in a rage. John tells the villagers that if they don't get the heads to them by the following day, then he'll take all of their pigs. When John gets home, Famous brings him a handsome boy and says that this can be his new sleeping dictionary if he wants. John realizes that Famous thinks he's gay because he's been rejecting Salima and says no to the boy. John and Salima then get into an argument and he tries to fire her, but she says she isn't fired, she quits. The next day, John wakes up to find that Salima is living under his desk. He tells her to go live in the longhouse, but she refuses. Famous then tells him that she'll be mocked if she goes back to the longhouse because she chose him, but he keeps rejecting her. Feeling guilty, John asks Salima to give him another chance, and she agrees. The next day, John meets Henry's wife, Aggie, and she tells him that she is clearing some land to make a croquet lawn for when their daughter, Cecilia, comes to visit. Henry comes by and tells John he needs to start picking up the language faster, and he asks for an update on the heads of the miners. The film then cuts to that night, and we see John and Salima practicing the Eben language. The two go to bed in their separate beds and talk about the fact that John hasn't slept with anyone. 
John tells Salima that he's never met anyone like her before, and the two touch fingers through a hole in the wall. John and Balansai get into a debate the next day, and John challenges him to a friendly underwater breath-holding competition. Balansai happily accepts and fully expects to be the winner, but everyone is shocked when John crushes him in the challenge. John then reveals that he was using an oxygen tank, and he asks the chief to give him the miners' heads. He finally gets them and and brings them to Henry, who then invites John to have dinner with him and his daughter Cecilia. That night, John and Salima bond over the story The Little Mermaid because both of them had it read to them by their parents when they were young. Salima reveals that her father was English and moved back to England when she was only four years old. The two end up sleeping together, but once they're done, Salima gets up because if a man and woman wake up next to each other five days in a row, then they become engaged. We then see John at dinner with several British people including Henry, Abby, Cecilia, and a man named Neville. Cecilia is very interested in the Eben people and her father keeps talking about her degree and the thesis paper she wrote on them. Cecilia brings up the tradition of the sleeping dictionaries and some of the guests are shocked to hear about it. Henry insists that the tradition is just for convenience and no real feelings ever come out of it. John thinks it would be normal for an Eben and a British person to fall in love, but everyone else is disappointed disgusted by the idea. Cecilia follows John around the next day and takes photos as he shows her the daily lives of the Eben people. Salima doesn't like how close John and Cecilia look, and she gets annoyed when Cecilia takes her picture. John's attention is taken away when there's some commotion down by the river. Several people from another village have washed up in a canoe and are either severely ill or already dead. John tells Henry that he plans to take Salima and Belensai with him to go investigate what the cause of all this is. He is invited to dinner that night and gets confronted by Aggie, who tells John that he should marry Cecilia before Neville does, and offers her hand in marriage. John is caught off guard and doesn't give her a solid answer. That night, John and Salima get into a fight because she's jealous of him and Cecilia. John, Balansai, Salima, and some others set out the next day to investigate the bodies they found and they find that nearly everyone in this other village is afflicted by a mysterious disease. While at the other village, someone tries to attack John, but Belensai saves his life. Belensai tracks the attacker, which brings them down to the mining company, and John sees there is pure silver there. John and Belensai return to the village and find that Salima has also gotten sick now. John realizes that she ate some rice in the village, and the miners must be poisoning the rice to secretly kill off the natives and steal their land so they can mine it for silver. They tell the natives what's going on and let them kill the miners in retribution. When John and Salima are alone, he tells her he wants to stay with her forever, and the two kiss. She asks where they should run, since no one will approve of their relationship, but John assures her that he can convince everyone to be okay with their love. John goes to Henry, but Henry just tells him that there is no way they can be together. He tells John that he also once fell in love with a native woman, but since it's illegal for them to be together, he chose to never see her again. The two get into a big fight and everyone can hear them yelling. Meanwhile, Salima is also facing pushback from her people over the relationship with John, and the chief asks her to find a husband in the longhouse instead. Balansai pulls Salima aside and tells her that if she doesn't give up her relationship, then the British will charge John guilty for the murder of the white miners. Henry and Aggie finally tell John that if he doesn't give up his relationship, then he'll go to prison for the miners' murders. Salima gets locked up, and when John sees this, he's devastated. In order to save John's life, she agrees to give up their relationship, and the film cuts forward a year later, where we see John and Cecilia getting married. On their wedding night, John is hesitant because he still loves Salima, and Cecilia tells him that she knows about Salima, but doesn't care because she knows John loves her. The two sleep together, and the film cuts to them on a boat heading back to Malaysia to be with Cecilia's parents. John is 
happy to be back in the village with the Eben, but Cecilia notices that he keeps looking around for Salima, which makes her upset. That night, Cecilia confronts John over still being in love with Salima and demands that he fire Famous because she can tell he preferred Salima over her. John goes to visit Neville the next day and finds that he's been abusing his sleeping dictionary. So he tells the woman to cut off Neville's manhood if he hurts her again. John overhears a conversation between Aggie and Cecilia and realizes that everyone knows he still loves Salima, so he tries to convince Cecilia he's in love with her. While working the next day, John sees Salima with a baby and realizes that the baby is his. He also sees her with Belensai, who she's now married to. He asks Famous to help him get a secret meeting with Salima so that he can meet the baby, but Salima doesn't want to see him. A meeting is eventually arranged, and Salima tells John that even if the baby is biologically John's, he is Bill and Sai's son now. John tells the baby the story of the Little Mermaid before parting ways with him. The next day, Aggie threatens John to make sure he won't leave Cecilia for Salima. During that night, Bill and Sai tries to kill John because he saw him with Salima, but John only gets wounded on the arm. Henry is furious at John because this means he'll have to kill Bill and Sai, who was one of the the strongest villagers. John tells Henry that he was just trying to visit his son, and Henry says that he has to ignore that child for the rest of his life. It's then revealed that Henry is actually Salima's father, but he had to keep it from her because a relationship with her mother would have been illegal. A trial is held for Belensai, and John tries his best to get Belensai any lighter sentence, but his efforts are fruitless. That night, Salima begs John to stop Belensai's death sentence, and Cecilia sees them. The next day, some of the women in the village come after Salima and her baby, but Henry steps in to protect his daughter. Belensai is formally sentenced to death and hauled off to jail, so that night, John and Salima work together to steal the keys to his cell and free him. With no husband and nowhere to stay, Salima is given to Neville as his new sleeping dictionary. John goes home to Cecilia and she tells him that she's pregnant. They go over to tell Henry and Aggie, but John is very out of it. Meanwhile, Neville tries to assault Selina, so she attacks him and knocks him out with the help of Famous. Once they're alone, Cecilia and John talk about their true feelings, and Cecilia tells him to go to Selima because she knows he'll be happier with her. Famous tells John that Selima is on the run because of the attack on Neville, and that Henry is looking for her. John rushes off, but Henry finds finds Salima first. Instead of arresting her, he takes pity on his daughter and gives her a gun so she can be safe on her journey. Aggie is furious about this when she finds out and she tells Neville to go hunting for both John and Salima. John is eventually able to catch up with Salima, but Neville also finds them and tries to kill them. They fight back and are saved when the natives who helped kill the miners also kill Neville. We then see John and Salima sometime later being accepted into another village where they can be in love and raise their child. Click one of the videos on screen for more.